Hello, our topic is how to calculate birth charts. I'm calling this part two of an introduction to astrological interpretation because if you are at an intermediate or advanced level, you have figured out a way to calculate charts using some kind of software, no doubt. Um, but if you're new to astrology, uh, or you know maybe you're intermediate or even professional, and you want to know what some of the options are to help people get started, especially when you're getting started, you often want things for free. You don't want to start spending lots of money to explore things. Um, and there are lots of free resources to get you started, and get you started very nicely. Um, so here are some ideas. Um, number one, if you have a computer or a tablet of some kind that runs Windows, uh, also, or runs the Mac, although with, with the Mac for this particular program you would need to install a program to give you Windows compatibility that could cost you $60 or so for Windows would be free. Um, one nice program is Cosmic Star. Um, now there are advantages and disadvantages to each of these methods. Um, the advantage to this is that you don't have to be online. Um, you know, if you're traveling around and you have one of these little tablets, um, you can just pop up the program anytime. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're driving in a car in between places or whatever is going on. Uh, and this has some very nice interpretations. So this is one good option. So let me show you the Cosmic Star program. I'm also going to show you some online options where you can just go to a website uh, and pull up some interpretations. And of course you can Google around. There are dozens of different programs. I'm just going to show you a few and I'm going to um, give you some pointers on things to be aware of, some concerns um, about software to make sure uh, the chart is correct. I mean, that, that's the bottom line, right? You want this, the, the, the birth information um, to be processed correctly and to get the correct planetary positions. And that's actually problematic. There are some issues there that even professional astrologers are not fully aware of. So, any, so you, we'll go over that, but let's take it one step at a time. The Cosmic Star Program. Um, you can go to this website, astrosoftware.com, slash installcosmicstar.exe. Um, this is, I'm one of the developers, I'm one of the, the team for this software. Um, and uh, we're revising the website, and there's not even a, an obvious way to get to this, I don't think. So you can just type in the full address here, www.astrosoftware.com slash installcosmicstar.exe. So when you do that, um, it's an executable file. So your browser, uh, I'm in Google Chrome, but depending on what browser you have, it may be in the lower left or lower right or upper right, it'll say that it downloaded it. In this particular browser, I can click on this and then click on Open and it will run the installation program, which I'm not going to run. Basically, I'm just going to cancel out of this. It's going to say, are you going to allow do you tr uh, this to run? Do you trust the, the publisher? I'm going to click cancel because it's just boring uh, thing. You just click next, 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 and it installs it. So I'll just click cancel, and, uh, and I'm back out of that and back into my browser. Uh, so let me show you after you install it, which is very fast. It's this small program. It downloads fast and installs fast. Um, and this is it. So this is the Cosmic Star program. It has this little window. Um, with uh, It's a free program. A little bit of advertising here of what the website is. Um, you know, obviously there are fancier programs you can buy that um, do more, but this works very nicely. I'll show you how, how you do this. I'll click on Start, and if I click on Continue, it would bring up whatever chart I was doing before. I click on New List, and I get a little data entry screen where I can enter somebody's name and birth data. I'm just going to make up somebody. I'll just say Joe Jones. Uh, let's say he was born uh, January 15, 1990, and let's say he's born, I can, I can type it, you know, with almost any format, I could say it's 4.30 p.m., or I could say it's 16.30, it'll accept all these things, um, and the place, let's say it's London, 
and you just type in the place and a window pops up and there's London, England. Um, so this uh, free program is a very small version based on the same kind of data entry and so on of the programs Pegasus, Kepler, and Sirius um, that have more features than that you can purchase. Um, but this is really nice. Um, pull all this up and I can just say I'm done. If I want, just click on done. Uh, do I want to save this? So it, so it does have the ability to save this so I can call it up later. Um, I'll say yes. It says OK. And there's the chart wheel. Very simple, right? So it just pulls it right up very fast. Um, so it's a nice free little program. It has a resizable window so I can shrink it and expand it. Um, it has a few settings. I can click on settings and change Zodiac and house system. So I can do sidereal. Not too bad for a free program. It does have some different house systems. The, these are uh, nice things to have. Um, and here's the uh, really nice thing. Oh, let me show you one more thing. Under settings, wheel settings, has just a few choices with wheels. Not a lot of choices. I can have aspect lines in the wheel. I'll drag this to the side so we can see it. I can uncheck that. Click on preview. And then it removes it. There's just a few choices here. Um, I can, uh, say, change the size of the planet glyphs. They look pretty big. Let's make them even bigger. I'll type in 30 instead of 26. Preview. And they got a little bigger. Um, so it's the same idea as the Pegasus, Kepler, and Sirius programs, just extremely limited. This is the only wheel style you get, which is just a little bit of customizing. But it's nice. It's interactive. I clicked on cancel, so these font size went back down to the original setting. Now this is a really nice thing. Uh, you click on reports and you get an interpretation. What we call the Cosmic Star Report which is similar to what we call the Cosmonatal Report in the Pegasus, Kepler, and Sirius programs. Um, and if you don't have a birth time for the person you can do the unknown birth time which skips the, the things like houses and rising sign. I'll click on this and this nice little window appears with the interpretation uh, laid right over the chart list. I can read the interpretation. Um, you know, there's introductory information, the positions, um, and there it is. Cancer rising. You appear gentle and soft, and you act rather reserved uh, until you know them well, and you feel comfortable opening up to them, etc. Sun in Capricorn, Sun in the sixth house, Sun is conjunct Venus etc. Um, so it's great. If, uh, what does Moon in the third house mean? Uh, what does Moon square Mars mean? mean th these uh, interpretations um, in, the, in this software have been recognized uh, for a long time as being among the best. They're excellent interpretations. So uh, if you're learning or even if you're more experienced and you want to get some ideas on what Jupiter in the eleventh house means, the Jupiter opposition Uranus, uh, there it is. Nice little interpretation. So you've got your basics. Signs, houses, and aspects. And it's all free. Um, so that's a nice choice if, you've got, if you have Windows. If you have the Mac, um, here's this program. I'll go over here. Codeweavers.com has a program uh, that allows you to run Windows programs on your Mac um, without installing Windows, which is really fantastic. Um, but you do have to pay for it. Um, it's built on something called Wine, like the drink, W-I-N-E. And Wine is free, and you can Google that and find the information. But when you get this crossover Mac program, I guess version 14 is the current version, um, it's, it's got a nicer user interface for installing and things like that. Uh, it won't run all Windows programs. The program has to be written uh, in a manner that's compatible, doesn't use too many fancy, crazy features of Windows or fancy protection schemes, and it will run. And all the programs from Cosmic Pattern Software run in Crossover Mac. Um, so that's one option, okay? There's no perfect option for everybody. Different people use different uh, kinds of computers and devices and 
you want something for your mobile phone, just get on to Google.com or another search engine, see what's out there. I thought I would just show you a few options, some of the ones that the company that I'm a part of uh, makes available, as well as a few others. So let me go back to my little PowerPoint here. Uh, so that's the Cosmic Star Program, a really, really great option, and it's free. Um, another thing is a lot, there are several websites that allow you to run chart wheels. Uh, we have one at our web at our website. I'll show you that real quickly. It's a little tedious to get to from the opening screen, um, but we are revising this. This will be different in the near future. But you go to astrology reading in this menu bar once you're at astrosoftware.com. Scroll down to the bottom. Um, there it is, free chart wheel. Click on that button, free chart wheel. And then click on free chart wheel again. And then you're finally into it. And it's fairly straightforward. You just select the, the uh, place, you know, whatever state or country you're, uh, you want for the particular chart. Say it's... Uh, uh, let's say Norway, and then you type in the first few letters of the place, I uh, like Oslo, and you click on continue, and then it shows you, well in the case of Oslo, there's only one place that begins with O-S-L-O and, Nor and Norway. Anyway, you enter the date and the time and all that, and, and then it emails you the, the chart wheel. Uh, so that's kind of nice if you, if you want to have it emailed to you. Um, rather than just displayed on the screen, so you've got it permanently in your email, this is a nice way to go. Um, another website is astro.com. You go to astro.com, you can click on free horoscope at the top here, and then go to, uh, let's see, da, 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 one of these menu items like chart drawing or extended chart selection, and you click on that, and uh, it allows you to do all kinds of things, um, all for free. So what's not to like about that? And it'll pull it up um, right on the screen. So uh, with those two choices, it's just fantastic. Um, and if you're on a mobile device, your phone, if you have Internet connection, uh, you don't really need to download a special program, a special app. You can just go online, go to astro.com, and it has a lot of advantages over the mobile apps has rich number of choices um, and the atlas I'm going to talk about this atlas issue which is a big deal um, I'll talk about that in a second let me see if I have anything else to mention no I'm ready to tell you about this atlas issue this is something a lot of astrologers um, overlook and it's very important um, there's really one major thing that will cause your chart to be inaccurate. Most of the programs have accurate planetary routines. Um, when you get to things like progressions and transits and fancy things, then um, one chart may calculate more. One program may calculate more accurate than another. But as far as natal charts go, the accuracy of the calculations is usually not the big deal. The big deal is this. Let's go back to our Cosmic Star program and go uh, go back into the data entry screen. Uh, when you type in that place, like London, England, whatever it is, and you say, okay, give me London, England, um, it fills in the latitude and longitude. That's not a problem. The problem is this, the time zone and the daylight saving time. If that time zone is not correct for that date and time, or the observance of daylight time is not correct for that, for this place, London, England, on this date and this time, you have problems. And uh, programs, no atlas is perfect. Uh, and it's very, very complicated to, to find out if daylight time is observed in many places. Um, and a lot of astrologers are unaware of that. They just trust the program and believe it's correct. So here are two videos that you can watch. There's the, the full website address. One of them is 33 minutes. The other is 12 minutes. Um, that show you some of the problems that can come up with daylight time. Uh, another way to get to these videos is just to go to... These are videos that I made. Just to go to my YouTube page. 
which is right here. You can go to YouTube and just type my name, David Cochran, astrologer or something. Uh, let me show you that. If I type David Cochran, astrologer, uh, YouTube will show you all these videos, some by me, and you just click on my name. Or you can click on this one here, just click on the name, it's a link, and then it brings you to my YouTube page. And right here, this first section, Sirius and Kepler Introduction and User Interface, this third video, Sirius Astrology Software, the world's most accurate daylight saving timetables. This video, this is the one that's 33 minutes long, and if I scroll to the right, this one, this is the one that's uh, about 12 minutes long, Time Zone and Daylight Saving Time Issues in Astrology. <clears throat> I highly recommend you watch these videos. If you don't want to watch the full half hour, watch this one for 12 minutes. They both have different information. You can watch both of them. And they will give you examples um, and, and demonstrate why it's really important to make sure your program has very accurate tables. Uh, and many programs don't, and, and will periodically produce incorrect charts. Again, it's a big problem that not even all the professional astrologers are fully aware of. Um, and this little cosmic star program, which is free, um, has the same daylight timetables that the full programs, all the way up to the very fancy and much more expensive Sirius program have. Um, so that's the same tables. The Cosmic Star program doesn't have the huge atlas with every city in the world, but if the city is there, um, it will be using the highly accurate tables based on all the extensive research that we've done and all of our customers done, have done and um, in the, all the different projects that are out there um, to collect that data and that we keep up with to make sure the data is as accurate as possible. Okay, so that's it, my friends. Um, to summarize, go into your search, Google search, or whatever search engine you like. If you don't like these particular options, um, there are other online free websites that will calculate the chart wheel for you. Um, it might give you interpretations, um, depending on what device, you know, whether it's a mobile device or a computer that you have. But that gives you some idea that you can do this stuff. Um, great learning tools, you know, our uh, site here, this page that I've made, uh, I'm now starting these introductory uh, lessons and lots of advanced topics here so you can explore and learn astrology and do charts for free. And then if you get more advanced, uh, of course, there's products you can buy that are from inexpensive to many hundreds of dollars. And we have a full range of, of products um, all the way up to the very elegant programs to do very, very sophisticated analysis and interpretations. Okay, thank you for watching. God bless. Namaste.